Hey guys, so welcome back. Today's video is going to be like five minute makeup or if you're in a rush, just like minimal makeup that you can just throw on and then get out the door and still look kind of like you put a lot of effort in without having tons and tons of makeup on that took, you know, hours and hours of time. So um, right now I am bare faced. I don't even have chapstick on as you can probably tell because my lips look, look really dry. And I have my hair pulled back with like, I have it in a braid and then I have my little, um, towel thing. This is what I've been using when I put my makeup on to just like pull all my hair back so it's not in my face. Anyway, um, I am, we're up close and personal right now so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get on into it. No matter what, I always recommend using a primer even if you're just putting on concealer like we're going to be doing today just because it will keep that makeup on even if it's a teeny bit of makeup. It'll keep it in place for the whole day which will just help you know, make it look better throughout the day and not let it look all smeary and worn off. I'm just using my Maybelline Master Prime Primer. This is the Blur and Smooth. I think I used this one in um, the... No, I, I don't know if I did use this one. Yeah, I'm just trying to use this one up right now. But it's the one that looks like this packaging. So I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's nothing new or anything. So the first thing we're going to do is apply concealer and the only reason I'm going to be using two different concealers, I'm going to use one as a corrector and one as a actual concealer. Um, I'm using that because I do have very dark circles. I know in this light it doesn't look like it, but my under eye circles are very, very dark. They're very pigmented. They're very like blue and purple undertone. So I have to correct that or I will just look really tired all day and even if a little bit of makeup is on, it won't look like I have anything on. So. I am using Bye Bye Under Eye in Tan. This is the sample. I have the medium color, but this is actually a little bit of a better color for me right now. And I'm using this as my corrector. A little bit goes a long way, so just do not overdo this one. Um, this will end up looking cakey if you overdo it, so. Okay, so I'm just taking a dry sponge. Um, this is just a sponge from Real Techniques. And I use the dry sponge on days when I'm in a rush because it will just pack on and not really pack on but will keep the products more concentrated in the area. So if I'm wearing concealer only under my eyes, I do want to make sure that that concealer does cover what I need it to cover. And then for my concealer and my corrector for the rest of my face is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm using the shade Fair. Um, this is a little bit lighter than my skin tone but it will... Conceal, my mirror is over here, so if you guys are wondering where I'm looking. Um, it will conceal and brighten at the same time, so it looks like you are wide awake and ready to take on the day. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer and cover any spots I need to maybe cover a little bit. And I know it looks really bright. Trust me, it's not going to, it's going to blend right in. And I'm going to go on my nose. My nose is always really red, especially in the winter months. And yeah, so just apply it anywhere. You may need a little extra coverage. I have a couple little spots here and there, so I'm just gonna um, dab that on and then I'll blend it out with the same sponge, just keeping it dry. Okay, so now that I have all of my concealer on, I'm just going to let it set there for a little while and kind of, you know, feel comfortable on the skin and get to its, like, set state before I set powder on it because I want it to um, not feel too tacky with the powder. Um, so we're going to move on to the eyebrows because for some reason I've been enjoying doing my eyebrows while I wait for that to dry lately. And I am using my Maybelline Brow Drama Crayon Pomade in the shade... I think it's soft brown, but I can't tell you, I don't know. And I'm just using a angled brush. This is, I don't know what brand this is, but it's, um, I don't know, I got it from someplace. And I kind of have been doing this thing where I just do this to get the product on my little brush here and I do it through my brows and that way it doesn't look as harsh and I don't have to get too thick or cakey and then I don't use a, um, a pencil either, so I just use this. So. I Okay, so once I have my brows filled in to, you know, a decent amount of um, fill-in, like I don't want to over overpower them or anything, I use my NYX Brow Gel, which you have seen me use in my everyday makeup. Okay. 
Okay, so now that my concealer has been kind of set under my eyes, I'm going to go back with the sponge just to make sure there's no concealer going into any fine lines before I set the concealer. And for my concealer, I'm setting it with the Theriolite Ambient Lighting Powder because I no longer have any more of my um, diffused light, and this one works just as well as that one. This is more of a um, white, beigey toned powder compared to that one, but... It works just as well, so. For the rest of my face, I will be setting it with a powder just to kind of make sure it doesn't look oily throughout the day. And I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just a big fluffy brush. And I will just kind of pat that on the rest of my face and anywhere I put the concealer. On the days where I don't want to spend a lot of time putting on blush like I usually do, I usually take a very bright blush like this and you could use a powder or a cream and I use a stippling brush and it's just going to be really quick and a light little dusting of color so it's not going to take too long and it's really easy to apply and make sure you get en enough pigmentation on the face that it doesn't look like you're flat. I always disperse the color on my forehead, um, just like right here in the center, my nose and my chin, just to kind of bring that color around the whole face and make sure I look a little bit more awake and it kind of adds a little touch of, I would say like rosiness, just like you look like you're very bubbly and happy. I don't know if that makes any sense to people, but <laughs> for me that's just what I have to do to make sure I look a little bit more lively. So on the days that I'm in a rush, I don't do any eyeshadow. I have very naturally pigmented eyelids. Um, so I'm just going to skip over eyeshadow, and this is when I usually just go straight to mascara. But one little quick tip I wanted to throw into this video is if you are in a rush, but you look very tired from the night before, using a nude colored eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof eyeliner in the shade nude. I am going to apply this just for the sake of showing you guys how it will make your eyes look a lot more awake. Okay. I'm not a big eyeliner wearer, but if you can tell, it just makes your eyes look a lot brighter, a lot more open, and that's just going to make you look like you did get a full night of sleep, even if you got like two or three hours or maybe even like five hours. really depends on the person, but um, this will just kind of give you that extra oomph to look like you're awake and ready to take on the day. So that is why I would just recommend doing that if you are looking tired and you just need a little pick-me-up with that. One thing I do take care of still even if I'm not wearing eyeshadow is I will take my powder like I do with my diffused powder I showed you in the everyday makeup video and I will do a little bit of a highlight right under the brow just to make sure that it looks nice and clean up there and um, gives that eyebrow a little bit of a natural lift. I would so the second to last thing I usually do I always do mascara no matter what going to make you look awake and it's going to make you look more put together even if you only spent three minutes doing your whole makeup. Now this is where I would stop here. I just did a couple coats of mascara. This literally would take me normally three minutes. I know this video may seem a little bit longer than that but in all honesty when you're just focusing on doing the makeup it takes no time at all. Concealer, blush, chapstick, Maybe eyebrows, if you don't want to do your eyebrows, don't do them, and mascara. Work, and you just want to look a little bit more put together, and this maybe isn't enough for you. Or even if you wanted to maybe skip out on the eyebrows but add something like a pop on the lips, then you can do that now. Um, but if you were just trying to go for a very simple, natural look, and you want to just have a little bit more put togetherness right in this area, um, I would use a, uh, not a chapstick, well you could use, you could use a tinted chapstick or... Um, a lipstick that's maybe close to your skin tone or lip tone, I mean. And this is the Pacifica Power of Love one. I got this in an Ipsy Glam bag. This is in Tender Heart. So I'm just going to apply this and show you what it would look like. So I just put a little bit of this on. And as you can tell, you can't really tell that I'm wearing anything on my lips. It looks like my lip color. It looks very natural and it takes two seconds to apply something that's so close to your lip color. You don't have to like, worry about lining it or doing anything crazy. So... This is something that you could easily wear on an everyday basis if you wanted to wear to school, to work. Just throw on some makeup, minimal makeup, three minutes, five, three to five minutes. You know, it doesn't take super, super long. So, yeah. Um, I know I look so funny with my little headband thing in, but you can't even see the top of it. The top of it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Just like this, like this video or you can subscribe down below. I hope you guys will stay tuned for more videos and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bye guys.